Hello and welcome back to this video series where we're looking at building an e-commerce platform in 25 days using Next, Netlify, and Stripe. So in this video, we're going to look at preview deploys, which are a way that we can make changes uh, to our application and then deploy a separate version of it um, that we could send to someone for approval or we could try out, uh, make sure we're happy with it before we commit it to the main uh, code base. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to head back to my terminal, make sure that I'm in the correct uh, project repository, uh, and then I'm going to create a new branch. So I'm going to say git checkout dash b, um, and then we're going to call our feature um, products page. So by creating a branch, we've created um, a separate git history. Um, so this is branched off master, but now if we were to add any more commits to master, they would not be on our products page branch. And if we add uh, commits to our products page branch, they will not be in master. And so that's perfect for what we want to do here because we want to keep them separate while we're working on our products page. So let's open this up in VS Code and let's create a new page for products. And now I'm just going to uh, return some products. Cool, so we have cool product one and we have cool product two. We can see what that looks like by running our server again. So npm run dev. And if I navigate to localhost over port 3000 and go to slash products, we are not seeing that. Why are we not seeing that? Ah, we've put products outside the pages directory. So we just need to drag that into the pages directory. You may have created yours in the correct uh, location. And now if we go back to our products page, we should see cool product one uh, and its description and price and cool product two and its description and price. So great, we have our new page. And now let's say we wanted to um, create a preview version of this that we could send to our product manager or send to the designers and say, hey, this is, this is a really cool page. Uh, it doesn't look great at the moment. So could you make it look a little bit nicer? And we're going to do that by creating a new commit. So here, if we say git add everything and let's make sure that we haven't added anything weird. So we've just got our products page. We're then going to say git commit add products page. And then we want to push up our new branch. So we're going to say git push uh, origin products page. And then if we head over to GitHub, um, we should see in this branch dropdown that we've now got master and we've got products page. And because we've just pushed new changes, um, we can create a pull request directly from here, which is what we want to do. Otherwise, we can go through pull request and then click new pull request. But I'm just going to click here. Um, and you'll see what this is doing is it's saying we would like to merge our changes. So that new commit that we've created, we want to merge that from our products page into master. Um, and so that's basically going to deploy our changes to master. Um, but we can create a pull request, which is kind of like um, a way that people can uh, review your code or you can share it with, uh, with other people and show them what you've, what you've done. Um, so we are going to, you can add a title and um, add a whole explanation as to what you've done. But for now, we're just going to click create pull request. And then if you scroll down, you'll see that this will trigger off um, a build by Netlify. So what this is doing is it's taking our, our work in progress branch, so our products branch, and it's actually deploying that to Netlify and giving it its own unique URL that we can then send to someone uh, to get them to review our changes. So now that we've got a tick next to deploy Netlify, if I right click on details and say open in a new tab, this is going to open up our completely unique URL. So this, this URL is specific only to this PR. So while this PR is open, we're going to have this URL that we can share with anyone. So this is, again, live on the internet, and it's not uh, our regular superstore.netlify.app. In fact, if we go to that, that's still running. That's our, our normal production website. But if we go to slash products here, we're going to get a 404. However, back on our preview deploy, if we go to slash products, we'll get our new products page. And so this is this is a way that we can have completely different um, versions of our site while we're, while we're building up these features. So we could then send this URL to the designers and say, hey, this looks 
awful. Can you please make it uh, look a little bit better? Um, and then you can continue working on on this in a separate branch. So you, you can keep this PR open and you can keep pushing up changes to, um, to this products branch. And then when you are ready to um, actually deploy those changes, you can just merge the pull request or you can choose to just close it uh, if you decide to not go ahead with the feature. Okay, so I'm going to merge this now. And then again, that's going to be picked up by Netlify. So if we refresh this deploys page and scroll down, you'll see that it's building a new version of our website. And now that that's published, if we just go back to our live uh, prod version of our application. So again, that was 404ing before, but now if we refresh, we'll see our products page. So that's now deployed to production. Awesome. That's everything I wanted to go through in this video. In the next one, we'll look at requesting some data in Next.js.